Okay, in this uh, video, I'm just going to continue looking at higher order derivatives. I'm uh, just going to do an example um, where we have to calculate a second derivative. This one's a, it's still a little more complicated because it's a rational function. Uh, so a little more complicated than the polynomials from the other video. Uh, so we want to calculate the second derivative. Um, in order to do that, you first have to calculate the first derivative. So we've done that before. So we know we're going to have to use the quotient rule because it's irrational or that's one way to do it, that's probably the quickest way to do it. So the quotient rule tells us to take the derivative of the numerator, so that would be 4, times the denominator, minus, uh, you leave the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which would be minus 2x all over 1 minus x squared, all square. Okay, so that's the derivative. Now you're going to want to simplify this. Um, when you're doing a second derivative, you have to calculate the first derivative first, but uh, it's easiest to calculate that second derivative if the first derivative is sort of as simplified as possible. It's going to make applying whatever rule, in this case the quotient rule, a little bit easier. Plus So I'll just uh, collect like terms on the numerator. So I get 4 uh, plus 4x squared all over 1 minus x squared squared. So that's the first derivative. Now we want to calculate the second derivative. So we'll just have to use the quotient rule. So in Leibniz notation, that's how you write the first derivative, or the second derivative. So we take the derivative of the numerator, so be 8x, times the denominator. Then minus uh, the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator. So here I've got to use uh, the chain rule or the power of a function rule. So the uh, exponent becomes a coefficient. Uh, this you know, power is now 1. And then the derivative of the inside part would be minus 2x. x squared, and then this is all going to be to the power of 4, because I have to square it. Okay. Uh, now, you, now what you can do is simplify, so uh, you, you might be tempted to expand, just start expanding. One thing I, I'm going to do first before I expand is notice I have a 1 minus x squared squared, and then a 1 minus x, so these are common to the numerator, so I'm going to common factor that. Uh, while I'm at it, maybe I'll just uh, common factor uh, the cons. Uh, no, I'll do that after. I'll do that after. I think it may be confused. Make it a little confusing if I did that. So what I've got is 8x times 1 minus x squared minus, actually I'm going to go with plus because there's a negative and a negative. So that makes it plus 2 times 2 is 4, and then I have an x, um, and then I have 4 plus 4x squared. And then notice this term here, I don't have because I've common factored it out. All divided by uh, 1 minus x squared to the power of 4. So notice I have 1 minus x squared, and then I had 4, so one of them would cancel, so now I have over, uh, to the power of 3. Okay, now inside the brackets here I'm going to expand. So 8x minus 8x cubed plus, 
Now the 4x gets multiplied in, so 16x plus 16x cubed, all divided by 1 minus x squared cubed. Uh, then there's some like terms in the top of the numerator. So it'd be 24x uh, plus 8x cubed, all divided by 1 minus x squared cubed. So that's the second derivative of uh, that, or that original function y.